Hey there developers, today we are looking at Vue UI frameworks and seeing which ones are compatible with Vue 3 and which ones are not. Spoiler alert, they're not. Okay, so maybe that's not true. There are some Vue UI frameworks that work with the latest Vue 3, but we're gonna find which ones do and which ones don't. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. And also I'll tell you my favorite Vue UI framework if you do. Also, if you're interested, I actually have a course on Vue 3. I also have a course on Vue, which we go over Vueify and a few other of these frameworks. I'll leave a few links in the description below. So if you wanna check out those courses, that'd be great. And as always, make sure you click that like button and subscribe. All right, so let's jump on into this video. So the first Vue UI framework we're gonna talk about is Vueify. They're called a material design framework. And really, I, I really like this framework. It has a lot of cool components and I actually did a couple of videos on this. So if you're trying to learn, you know, I'll make sure those links are in the description below too. But as for Vue 3 compatibility, as soon as you go into the installation guide, you can see right away, the current version of Vueify does not support Vue 3. Support will, with Vue 3 will come with the release of Vueify 3. When creating a new project, please ensure you select a Vue 2. So right away, uh, Vueify is great, the, the documentation great is great, and they are hard at work in getting Vueify to work with Vue 3. And so if you look at here and you click on this link, you can see they have a target release date of quarter three of 2021. So Vue 3 came out September 18th on 2020. So it's been a little bit more than four months, four and a half months since the official release of Vue 3. I mean, it's been in beta and alpha releases for months and months before then. So a lot of these and a lot of these UI frameworks, I guess they're more community based UI frameworks, have had quite a bit of time to work on upgrading their apps from Vue 2 to Vue 3, but it does take quite a bit of time. This is four and a half months later. We're kind of seeing where these frameworks are and the first one, Vueify, it's not quite done yet. The next big framework I wanna talk about is Quasar. When I was researching this, it wasn't really clear just by going to their installation and picking Quasar flavor, if they if they actually supported Vue 3. They do have this thing here that says Vue 3 CLI plugin. plugin. Yes, if it is, use the VLC. Yes, if it is the Vue CLI app. Sounds like they support the Vue 3 plugin, but they don't necessarily support a Vue 3 app. I went ahead and, and used the Quasar CLI and that still is a Vue 2 app out of the box. It looks like you definitely could get like the composition API working with Quasar but they don't necessarily have it working with Vue CLI with a normal Vue 3 app. And in fact, I did a little bit more research and I found this GitHub issue and they talked about the release date. They said they were trying to get a beta release out of Quasar that supported Vue 3 and they're calling it Quasar Vue 2 Beta 1. As of this recording in January 31st, I did not see this beta out. So I don't think they made this release date of January 2021 and they also said, they had an update in January 11th that they didn't get the SSR support done either. So it looks like Quasar is getting much closer to supporting Vue 3, but it's not quite there yet. And they, it looks like you can support them, you can donate to them. And a lot of these open source projects, they're, they're not companies, they're just community projects. They just have a handful of developers working on them. So it is quite difficult for these projects to upgrade to the latest and greatest all the time quickly. It does take quite a bit of time, but they do have it in their roadmap. They're working hard on it. Uh, quarter 121, they'll have a stable release out. So we'll see how that goes. The next framework I wanna talk about is Vue Material. And this is another one, when I went to the documents, like it doesn't say anything about compatibility. It just says comfortable with Vue.js 2.5 plus, which you would then assume maybe it works with Vue 3. Uh, once again, it doesn't really say explicitly in the documentation, but when I looked at the GitHub issues, there is a Vue 3 support issue that's been opened up since September 18th, basically the day Vue 3 came out officially. It is still, there's still no updates on it. It looks like they, it, there isn't really any information for Vue material, if they're really gonna support Vue 3 or not. So this is one of them, one of those where I would be very cautious to use it. And by the way, when I say support, like literally if you try to install these frameworks on Vue 3, you'll get errors, you can't even install them. So I think in this one, there's just really no information. And I can't really tell, just looking through this GitHub issues, if when they're gonna have this, this working. Someone actually said that you can fork your own repo and convert it. 
I mean, no company's going to do that. And But one company that has done a really great job at supporting Vue 3, you know, only four months in from the official release is Element UI. Element UI, there's a blog post that's that I just saw in the Vue News, that they actually created Element Plus for Vue 3. What's really cool about it, they created a Vite scaffold, a Vite um, app for it, and they also have like an installation guide and everything for it. So this is really cool. And when I was looking through it, they actually updated the documentation for Element Plus, and it has like the composition API in it on some of the examples, which is really neat. So Element Plus would be like a, a way you can use one of these new UI frameworks with Vue 3 or a UI framework. Uh, I haven't used Element Plus much, uh, but it looks like it has some really nice things in it. I mean, it's definitely no Vuetify, but it, it, it does the job. Now, Vo Boot Bootstrap Vue is another one that a lot of people have been talking about. And when I did some videos earlier last year on some of my favorite UI frameworks for Vue, people kept on mentioning, you gotta do bo Bootstrap Vue, Bootstrap Vue. Once again, just taking a look at the documentation, there wasn't much on Vue 3 at all. It does say you need Vue 2.6 is required and 2.6 is recommended, but it doesn't tell you uh, if what version, like if it would work with Vue 3. And I guess you could assume from this, it doesn't work with Vue 3. It also doesn't support the latest Bootstrap 5, which I believe is, is coming out or is already out at this point. So they do have, once again, they do have a GitHub issue on Vue 3 support. There's a lot of people like trying to install Vue boot, Bootstrap with Vue 3 and just getting errors and it's not working. And the latest thing I could see here, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, is uh, they're working on it uh, and that it's there's no real release date yet. They have a to-do on it. So that was just commented yesterday. Looks like they're they're working on it and it's just not done right now. One of the other Vue UI frameworks out there is Muse UI. And once again, it doesn't mention anything in the documentation, the installation, if it supports Vue 3. But when you look at their GitHub, and you kind of start searching around, it does say that this is a material design UI library for Vue.js 2.0, assuming that you can't use it with Vue 3. And I looked at the GitHub issues and I couldn't find any Vue 3. And some of the GitHub issues is in Chinese and I can't uh, read Chinese. So I don't know exactly what it's saying. Maybe if someone's listening right now, they can translate for me, but it doesn't feel like it works. and. It doesn't, I couldn't find any information if they're ever gonna support Vue 3 or if they're working on it. So this one's a little bit of a mystery for me, but it sounds like it does not work with Vue 3. Bufi is another one that's uh, another one of these UI frameworks. I did a couple of videos on this. It wasn't too bad. I, I kind of like the radio buttons and, and the form controls, but once again, it doesn't have any information just in the regular documentations if it supports Vue 3. But however, once again, once you look inside the GitHub issues, there is a, issue to support Vue 3. They do have Vue 3 release, and I believe at the end, they're going to do like a whole rewrite of it. It sounds like just 18 days ago, they opened up a branch. I've, I have a feeling this is one of those that's gonna be a, a very long time before we're gonna see Bufy support Vue 3 at all. Another one I really like is Vuesx. They have actually a Vuesx 4 as well. well. I did a video on Vuesx 3 at one point, but they have a newer one, Vue 4. And I don't see anything in the installation introduction getting started. I didn't see anything about Vue 3 in here anywhere. And then once again, when I looked at the documentation in the GitHub issues, they do say we are already working on support for Vue 3. We have problems with the documentation since it's in ViewPress, still not have support for Vue 3. And that was on October 2nd. And then since then, I haven't seen any information about how they far they are. So they're still working on it, that that's the way it is. So I was trying to think like, is there anything other than Element Plus that supports Vue 3 at this time? And just looking through the awesome Vue, which helps list different frameworks and resources for Vue. The only one I really saw in here was this Super v B View, a View 3 UI component library, and Element 3. Oh, here's one, Balm UI. Looks like it supports View 3. So there's very, very few at this time. Maybe I could see three. Three of them in here in this list at this point. So really thinking about this and, and thinking about all these different frameworks, and we've already looked at several of, them, several of them here. First, I've noticed a pattern was that a lot of these frameworks aren't even mentioning View 3 in their documentation. Vuetify did a great job of like, right on the home page, like a big red error box saying, hey, we don't support it. But a lot of these other frameworks, unless you Google around and just Google the framework name plus Vue 3, you'll never know if they support Vue 3 or not. I think a lot of these UI frameworks need to at least put warnings somewhere 
or maybe more be more explicit. I mean, Quasar does say it supports the Vue CLI 3 plugin, but it's not really clear that you're using, if you use the Vue CLI and create a Vue 3 app and try to add Quasar in, that it would work or not. And then you, you really have to go back and look at these issues to really figure it out. Element UI did a really good job, I think, of all three of them, of supporting Vue 3, and it has, there's a blog post on it, and, and it's pretty well outlined. One comment I would have to say, if anybody's listening that helps create these frameworks, is make sure you explicitly put somewhere in your documentation if you support Vue 3 or not. And if you partially support it through a plugin, explain that too. I think that would be helpful. Another thing is, um, if I'm a developer that's working with a production app and I have, I'm using Vue 2 and I'm thinking about upgrading to Vue 3 and I'm using one of these frameworks, I would be hesitant to upgrade at all. Like I feel, I feel at this time, it's not a good time to upgrade. I mean, I've just looked at like 10 different UI frameworks. And only one of them supported Vue 3 at this point. And I feel like any external third-party libraries that you have uh, are probably not going to be working in Vue 3 as of yet. If you are using one of these UI frameworks or something that heavily relies on Vue, you're gonna have a lot of difficulties in Vue 3. So let's wait, I would say wait another like six months to see where everything's at. A lot of these third-party libraries have the upgraded to Vue 3 before you yourself upgrades to Vue 3. I would say I would be very cautious if I was a company that needs to upgrade to Vue 3 right now and I'm using one of these libraries because just things don't work. You'd almost want to do an inventory of everything in your package.json to figure out what's going to work with Vue 3 and what's not. It's kind of too bad. It's already four months in and there's not much movement on these frameworks on getting them updated. So let me know what you guys think in the description below. Oh yeah, and I did mention at the beginning of the video, I was going to tell you my favorite Vue UI framework and I'm going to go with Vuetify. I think it's a great UI framework. I would highly recommend everybody check it out if you're looking to add this in and save some time in your next Vue, pro Vue project. And they do have very clear instructions of when Vue 3 is going to be out and they even have timelines and like they, they really have their stuff done. So I would say Vuetify is definitely my favorite. Let me know in the description what your favorite UI framework is for Vue. Do you agree or disagree? Do you think that companies should start upgrading their apps to Vue 3 even though there's lots of libraries that don't support it yet? What do you think? Do you think these companies are going too slow or these projects are going too slow? Let me know. Thanks.